all right you guys it's finally here welcome to my channel my name is misha today i'm going to show you how i make this amazing gumbo recipe these are all my ingredients right here remember all ingredient measurements will be in my description box so let's get right into it honey because i'm just so excited so to my pot right here you want to use a heavy bottom pot i'm going to add my oil and my flour you want to add a little bit at a time just like how i'm doing here and you're just going to keep adding it until you have no flour left and i'm not going to lie to you you guys this took me a minute to get done um and you know like when you read the instructions or you look at other people's recipes and they're telling you to make the roux is 40 minutes or 45 minutes or whatever um I don't think it is because I'm going to tell y'all the truth. This took me an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm going to tell y'all the truth. It took me an hour and 20 minutes unless you're far more experienced than I am and you know how to speed it up. But um, this is my first time making it myself. So it took me an hour and 20 minutes to get to the color that I wanted, which is this right here. And it shouldn't smell burnt. It should smell like a, a nutty flavor. And that's how you know you're doing it correctly. This took me an hour and 20 minutes. So I don't know where people getting this 30 minutes and all of that from. <laughs> so I'm going to add my, my onions, my bell peppers, and my celery. And you want to cook this down for about five minutes. All right, so while that's going, I'm gonna saute my sausage. This is um, delicious, spicy, and dewy sausage. Yes, get and dewy sausage. I want y'all to get everything that I got, okay? Everything I'm using, that's what I want you guys to use. So after about five minutes, this is what it looks like. Remember, your roux is gonna continue to cook as you add the peppers, celery, and onion. So this is a beautiful color right here. This is what you want, perfect. You're not messing it up. I'm cooking this on medium heat, which is number five. I've been cooking it on number five. That's what I cook it on. <laughs> After I add my chicken broth, the entire carton, I'm gonna end the sausage. I add the sausage back. I'm going to season it. I'm gonna add my onion powder, my cayenne pepper, my garlic powder, and my Tony Sachery's. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it properly. And my bay leaves, which I didn't get to put on camera, but they're in there. Uh, as well as my Bulon, Bulon powder. Mix this up and you're gonna cover it and let it cook for about an hour on the same number five, which is medium medium heat, just like that. After about an hour, this is what it looks like. It's nice and thick, it's nice and creamy. The sausage and the peppers, everything's cooked down. I'm gonna start adding my claws, my crab claws like this down in here. And you guys, I swear to you, having a shellfish <laughs> allergy is the worst thing i wanted to dive first face first into this pot and i'm cooking this amazing food and i can't even eat it however what i do is i tasted the broth before i added the seafood and it was amazing it was delicious so make sure you guys taste as you go and um so yeah so now i'm adding my shrimp down in here i added my fresh thyme and my scallions because at the end of something cooking this long you want to re-season okay so that's how i re-seasoned it so you want to mix it up this looks great already i'm going to cook this for another five minutes just like this and then i'm going to add the crab meat After you add the crab meat, you want to be very gentle with it. Don't go vigorously mixing and tossing things all around. Just be gentle with it to try to keep some of it in, in you know, in contact. So now, you know, I'm extra. I'm going to put my rice in this little ramekin because I want the shape of it. You don't have to do this. This is 100% optional. You don't have to do this. But if you want to be cute for your guests or something like that, just do what I'm doing. <laughs> So then I'm just going to turn it out right into my little bowl like this. And then I'm going to remove it. And it's going to look just like that. And then I'm just going to add, oh, y'all look at the gumbo. Look at the gumbo. You know what? I'm going to have to make some more gumbo with chicken and sausage. Because this right here, this broth, before I added the seafood, this broth. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you then want to dress it up with some scallions and I did sprinkle on some more 
Tony's on there. And that's pretty much it, you guys. You give this to your husband, your spouse, your wife, and they'll love you forever. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye, y'all. And happy holidays, everybody.